Russia is calling on Ukrainian forces to lay down their arms in Mariupol. It set a deadline for two GMT, which has just now passed. But Kyiv says it has no intentions of surrendering the port city. Moscow says a terrible humanitarian catastrophe is unfolding in Mariupol. Bodies are strewn along the road in some parts, and that's where some people are being buried. Ukraine's president says the destruction is Russia's doing, and is calling it a war crime. Meanwhile, thousands have escaped the city and are heading to the relative safety of cities like Lviv. Zain Basravi begins our coverage. Enduring the obstacles of war. Indignity in death. This is life in Mariupol now. I hope there will be some sort of a reburial and this is just temporary. The military told us to put the bodies somewhere in the cold. The only cold place now are basements, but there are people in basements, so we bury them here. It is difficult to see how life can go on for people in a place like this. The blockade of Mariupol will go down in history of responsibility for war crimes. To do this to a peaceful city, what the occupiers did, it is terror that will be remembered for centuries to come. More are escaping war every day, but getting to safety can mean risking your life. Active conflict zones, Russian checkpoints. Ukrainians say it's difficult to know which way is safe. And not everybody makes it. They began to destroy our city completely, house after house. Battles took place on every street. Every house became a target. Mariupol's residents fled a city still under Russian attack. From Lviv, a plea to end the war. Dear Russians, we ask you all to go home, deal with your own families. You have entered someone else's land, someone else's territory. You are not liberating. You are barbarians. We hope that you all leave and never disturb anyone ever again. At the largest reception center in Lviv, volunteers prepare for an influx of evacuees from the war zone. Thousands have come and gone. Thousands more expected in coming days. One family from a village near Kiev said the worst part of their journey was witnessing the horrors of war. No, we were passing through a Russian checkpoint and saw a lot of bodies lying near the road. Some of them were shot, some missing body parts. At one checkpoint in the village, we were waiting for two buses that were part of our convoy, but they were all gunned down by pro-Russian forces at another village. Pro-Russian Chechen fighters hold people hostage, they say, knowing Ukrainian military will not shoot at civilians. What can I say, she says, I'm scared a lot, I don't want to leave. They are safe for now, together warm, happy. But once his family is in Poland, Vladislav says he will go back to fight. <laughs>